Ciao everybody, this is Matteo from Milan, Italy. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me. So, today's video is going to be about the book binding, but not only. Uh, it all started um, a few days ago, a few weeks ago, um, because I received a request uh, on Instagram um, asking me to show the detail of my book binding. Um, so I decided to make uh, a video, I wanted to be very precise, I wanted to, to show with precision what the book binding uh, that I do is, uh, um, is about, um, but then the video took a totally different turn and uh, I came out with this booklet. Um, I just wanted to use paper that I, that I was ready to throw away or to use to, to make a recycled um, homemade paper. Uh, but then I found myself dipping the entire booklet in, um, in hot tea and uh, making this junk journal that turned out really, 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 really well. So I can't wait to show you how this little monster came out. Um, but mm, I just want to say that I'm sorry if I don't have the, the right means or the right camera or the right precision to make um, everything absolutely perfect and clear. But as always, I did my best. So let's get to it and see how I made this little junk journal. So here we are. I have already prepared and punched these uh, signatures that I made with the scrap paper. And uh, um, I have made very big holes so that you can easily see them. And I am using a red cotton thread so that you can easily see it. Uh, I do not recommend this kind of thread because uh, it's too thin um, and then if you need to wax it just take a candle and make the thread go inside of the wax and maybe just do it a couple of times just to be sure that a lot of wax remains trapped in the fibers of the thread that you are using. So with a wax linen thread everything is easier and I am use and I'm using this um, normal cotton thread which is going to be a mess just to show you the detail of the binding. So the first signature is made in one way. The second signature is made in another way and from the third signature on it is always the same thing. So I will do my best to make things on camera. So with the first signature all you have to do is basically to go back and forth with your needle. So please keep in mind that this book binding is made only for for this video so there is going to be no precision i don't care if the paper breaks okay and now all we have to do is to go back And we can tie a knot at the very beginning. This is one of those moments in which I hope, in which I wish my husband was home to keep his finger on the knot. Okay, so first signature done. Okay, so you have a complete line of thread 
in the outside and a complete line of thread in the inside. So now let's move on adding the second signature. Remember that this signature is slightly different because we have to anchor this signature to this one. So we enter the first hole and we go out from the second hole. Okay, so now we have to anchor this signature to this one. So when we go out from the second hole, we make our needle go below the thread of the first signature and we make it go up back again you see that now it is anchored and we re-enter the second hole and here we have it and let's do the same thing enter the third hole And we go below the thread of the first signature. We go up again, staying under the thread of the first signature. And we re-enter the same hole we came out from. Trying to do things correctly, please, Matteo, please. Okay. And let's do the same thing again. We enter the hole. The cotton thread is very likely to tangle. We just go below the thread of the first hole, of the first signature, sorry. And we make the thread go back, always under the thread of the, f of the first signature. And now the two signatures are anchored to each other. We go back from the same hole we came out from and here we have it. Last hole, we go out we make our needle go below the thread of the first signature and we leave a little ring and we tie a knot. Okay, so now the first two signatures have been made and they are anchored to each other. Now from the third signature on Things are different, but they never ever change again. This is the moment in which uh, if you have a curved needle, it would be the best. It would be absolutely the best. If you don't, it doesn't matter. It's going to take just a little more time, but you can do it anyway. So this is how you anchor from the third signature onwards. So you enter the hole, you go out from the following hole, and now if you had a curved needle, 
you would need to put it right here and go behind the knot. With a curved needle, it would be so much easier. And once you do it, untangle the thread. And once you have done this, you go back in the hole you came out from. Do the same thing with the third hole. You make your needle go behind the knot. And you re-enter the signature from the hole you came out from. Same thing again. Fourth hole. You put your thread. Untangle the cotton thread. And to anchor the signature, you make your needle go behind the previous knot. And you re-enter the signature from the same hole you came out from. Last hole you go out you make your needle go under the previous knot you keep this ring and you tie a knot and from this moment on nothing is ever going to change again so fourth signature let's do it together okay so we have to anchor the fourth signature to the third one so we are going below the previous knot, as you can see, a curved needle would save me from all of this mess. And I re-enter from the same hole I came out from. And Again, the same thing from now on never changes. Go below the previous knot. And re-enter the signature from the same hole you came out from. And here again, make your needle go below the previous knot. And re-enter from the same hole you came out from and last hole we make our thread go under the previous knot please don't get tangled don't get tangled baby 
Okay. We leave a little ring of thread so that we can tie a knot. Wonderful. And this is how you are going to add signatures to your book. Okay. And once you get to the end of the signature, there is nothing special. You just make your needle go below the previous signature. You leave a ring and you tie a knot. And the binding is officially done. Okay, all you have to do now, like we always do, is to put the glue on the spine, some fabric, make the covers, but I have decided, hello kitty cat, I have decided that I want to do something a little crazy with this, so I'll make some hot tea and I want to, hello kitty cat, oh, look at who's here, and I am going to put the book inside of hot tea and see what happens. Okay, now I'm here with my super hot tea and I'm going to pour some of the tea inside of this very old container and I'm going to soak the entire booklet in tea and I want to leave it in this super hot tea overnight and I will be back at it tomorrow and then I will put it on the heater and see you when this book will be dry. And here we are again. So, uh, I have skipped the part uh, where I show how to make the hardcover and so on because I have already shown it so many times. So, the book is here next to me, it is almost finished, but I want to show you how I uh, kind of embellished it. So, many of you may have seen uh, these uh, digitals that I have put on my Etsy also. And so, what I am going to do now is I'm going to show you how I put these digitals inside of the book. I have uh, made these um, hotel registrations and I have also made some envelopes that I'm, that I'm going to show you in one moment. So these are two different documents now and this is the booklet that I have made and what I want to show you is that it has many blank pages and these envelopes that are made and I chose some of these uh, digital um, different images with the stamp. Anyway, so I am going to use some of these uh, digital to cover the pages that have writings on it. So for example this one and I am going to place the document right here. So I'm taking the Mod Podge my dear friend Mod Podge. So, and now, just like I have seen my friend D do, I fold the excess inside
and this is the page. So I am going to show you that I have already done this with others, with other digital files. Let me show you. They should be right here somewhere. Hmm. Here it is. Here is one. I think I, you have already seen this on my Instagram, I guess. I have printed this on my tea dyed paper. And this one also. This is really beautiful. I love it. I love, love, love it. So anyway, now I'm going to glue down this one too. But the book is finished. I hope you like the way it turned out. I absolutely do. So tell me what you think about it in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up and see you very, very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.